Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at different ways that you can use Ultralytics 4. So basically how you can use it in Python from the command line, different callback functions, and we also have some different configurations and customizations that you can do. We're going to run through the whole documentation and see how to use it. I'm going to show you some of the examples. So we're going to jump straight into the users tab on the Ultralytics documentation. First of all, they have something about the command line inter interface usage. We can also use it directly from Python, depending on like whatever you prefer. But again, we only need to specify a couple of lines of code or like a single command in the command line interface. And then we have everything up and running. We can change the different tasks, modes, and also the arguments. You can both run training, prediction, validation, and so on directly from the command line. We can also do training, validation, prediction. We can also export the models when we have trained a model, but we can also export pre-trained ones. We have some default arguments. You can also overwrite those. You can see all the arguments directly in the documentation. It is well documented. So we can also use Python here. I'm going to show you this example again. It is the exact same thing as the command line interface. Now we can just run it in code instead. We also have different callback functions. We're not going to focus too much on that, but they have different callback functions while you're training your, your model. When you want to do like the optimization step, um, save the model after every epoch tra on training end and so on. So we have these callback functions that you can call while doing training, validation or prediction, even like export callbacks here. We have configuration, so we have different configurations that we can set with our arguments, both for our task, modes, when we do training and so on, we can specify the number of epochs, batch size, the image size that we want to train it on, the device that we want to run it, GPU or CPU. So all of these things are listed in the documentation. So here we can also go in and do advanced customizations. So like the YOLO command line and the Python interfaces, they're just like high level abstractions over like base engine executors. So we can go in and create our own base trainer and also our own detection trainer if you want to do even more customizations to your training scripts. So now we're going to take a look at the two cool things, which is how we can use Ultralytics from the command line interface, but also from Python if we want to write the code ourselves. So right now we can just go in and test it. We need to pip install Ultralytics to start with. So let's open up a new Anaconda prompt. So you guys can see here, we have an Anaconda prompt. We can pip install Ultralytics if you don't have that. I should already have it here on my computer. We can see here that the requirements are already satisfied. So right now we just want to do predictions here with a YOLO um, nano model and predict mode will basically just be optic detection because we're not specifying any anything else here in our model. So now we can just run the YOLO command directly in our command interface. If we haven't been running this before or if we don't have the model in our directory, it will download it automatically and directly run it. So right now it's just going to use some default arguments here um, and also for the source. So this is going to be like the two images. So they have a boss image and also a sedan image in their GitHub repository. And it should now be safe to run, detect, predict. So it's now going to take a look at that. So we have the local disk, go inside my user directory, user because that is what I'm running it from. And then we should have a runs directory. Runs, detect, predict. And now we have our boss image. And we also have sedan. We can also see we can directly go in and train a model. Let's just do that. Right now, we're just using this Coco 128 YAML file. So this is the data set that we're going to train our model on. This will already be a pre-trained model. But let's now just go in and specify that. And we can run training directly from the command line interface. And that is how we can use it in Google Colab as well. If you're using that or like whatever uh, notebook or cloud provider that you're using, if you're training it, it on the cloud. But you can also train it here locally. You, you can basically just specify the task here the mode here, all the input arguments that you want to throw into your training script, the data set, the model that you want to use, number of epochs, image size, batch size, and whatever. So here we can see that the training has started. Right now we're just running it through a bunch of epochs. I'm running this locally on my GPU. So here we can see that the model is actually like increasing over time and that it is learning from our data. So this is how we can use it directly, simple and easy to get started with. So the last example here that we're going to take a look at is the predict method. Again, you can use all the other things here from the usage tab. So here we have copy pasted our code into our Python script. We create an instance of our model. We can specify the source that we want to predict, do predictions on. If we want uh, like a whole folder, we can also load in an, an image. We can basically just do predictions directly, specify an image from a NumPy array with OpenSV or PLL, or we can just throw in like two images here as well. We can do a lot of different kind of things. All things can be found in the documentation under the arguments. So right now, let's just try to like open up a webcam here to end the videos off with a bang. So the model that we want to use, we're just going to use YOLO V8. Um, let's go for a medium model. 
specify the source and we also want to show the results so here we set e show equal to true now we should be able to run it and see live inference on our webcam so now we can see that we picked up the webcam we are now doing live inference with ultralytics we can see all the detections that we're doing let's just move the webcam around we're detecting a person two persons here we have a chair in the background so this is actually like pretty nice. So this is how easy you can get an optic detector up and running on a live webcam. You just specify a zero as the source. We can see that we have two keyboards here. We also have a mouse. But here we can see that the optic detection is really good. And we're even only using a medium model. You can specify your own custom models. Go in and train them with Ultralytics and so on. So we basically have videos for all of things with Ultralytics from the documentation. And also on the YouTube channel. So definitely go check that out cover all of it you can use it directly out of the box so i hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos stay tuned bye for now